Hello everybody, DC Fan 99 here coming at you guys with a new video. I'm going to be sitting in a chair in my videos for Lord knows how long. Uh, about a year or a few months ago, somewhere around there. Um, I have been told that I have a torn uh, muscle in my right glute. And I've been doing the uh, physical therapy. And apparently I wasn't ready for that yet. I needed to rest it some more. So I just screwed up uh the front uh the front of my thigh of my right thigh and it just screwed me up all around and so now I'm limping all over the house upset about this cowboy's loss and uh yeah it's just been hell all around anyways let's talk about these boys um going into New Orleans Brandon Whedon Regardless if Drew Brees is playing or not, if you don't win this game, you got to go. All right, I know Cowboy fans are going to get upset about me saying that. But in my opinion, Brandon Ween has had more than enough time to show the league what he's made of and what he brings to the table as a football player. And all I've seen in his career is he's a choking, just horrible quarterback, makes trash decisions. I mean, why would you fall down and take the sack Knowing that you're down by 11 points and under two minutes to go in the game, you decide to take a sack. I mean, at least try to throw the ball out of bounds. And he just kept throwing the ball in the middle of the field instead of throwing it to the receiver and let him go out of bounds so we can conserve time so hopefully we can win the game. But no. Uh, also, he's too scared to go down the field. Like he just never wants to take a chance. You know what I mean? He He's too scared of going past 20 yards or something. I don't know. He kept throwing at Lance Dunbar so he could do all the work for Brandon Whedon. Um, and most people have been telling me that uh, Brandon, Whedon, Brandon Whedon is not the one that's uh, making the decisions of who to throw to. Um, it's the play callers that's been telling him. Uh, who to throw it to. I don't care if it's Brandon Whedon, Tony Romo, play callers, Jerry Jones, or if I have to drive all the way down to AT&T Stadium, jump down the field from the stands, and just yell at him to throw it down the field, make a smart decision, take a chance, and just put some points on the board. You know what I mean? Just, I don't care who it is calling uh, calling the plays, telling, telling him who to throw it to, just somebody step up and tell him to throw it down the field and actually make a play. Um, anyways, we got two people. Uh, we got two players coming in this week for this New Orleans Saints game. It's going to be uh, Ronald Larry, offensive lineman. That's going to be a lot of help, considering that our offensive line played trash all second half long. Uh, pretty much the entire team just played like garbage all second half long. Uh, they just forgot there was a second half. I don't know what happened. Um, <laughs> but, uh, we got Ronald Larry back and then there's Jeremy Mincy where we're going to need big time because there was no pass rush all game long, uh, up against the Falcons. I mean, hell, Matt Ryan behind the offensive line, he had all damn day. He could park a lazy boy right behind the offensive line, uh, make a cup of coffee, watch Step Brothers on his... 500 inch uh, HD TV and just watch it with the family. Hell, he could live behind that offensive line for all we know. Um, Jeremy Mincy, super glad he's back. Um, if we lose this game, if, if we lose this game and Drew Brees isn't playing, no excuses. I mean, that's, that's just garbage. Eagle fans, shut the hell up. You guys are losing your minds because uh, you got your first win of the season. And that week just so happened to be the first loss of the Dallas Cowboys season. And now you guys are going back to thinking you're the best franchise in NFL history. Let's not forget the fact that we exposed DeMarco Murray, last year's leading rusher, about him, uh, how he would do behind your offensive line. And it's not good. It's not good defenses. 
It's trash offensive linemen. We've been telling you guys ever since who picked them up. But no, we're salty Cowboy fans who don't know a damn thing about football. You shut your one and two asses up, Philly. And we'll see you guys week eight, week nine, whenever we, uh, we meet you guys again playing in Dallas. We're going to whip y'all again. I can guarantee you that. Um, I'm going to get out of here and the video right now. I got some stuff to do. Go ahead and limp around the house some more. And... <sighs> Cowboys. Brandon Whedon. For the love of God, get it done. Alright? And get it done right. Don't just quit the second quarter. I mean, uh, second half. Alright? I'll catch you guys later.